up. This exclusive interview with Jeffrey Owens. Thank you so much for allowing us this opportunity. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, I morning. see that you have your, your badge on. Of course. Proud, and yes. you should be. <laughs> I, I, you know, so many people speaking out on your behalf, uh, people you don't know and, and fellow Amazing. actors. Uh, what's the feeling like? It's, you know what, it's, it's really overwhelming it's, it, in a good way. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's, uh, I kind of feel like that, that character in that Woody Allen movie that wakes up one morning and he's a celebrity all of a sudden uh, and uh, has no idea where it came from. It, it came out of nowhere. Uh, there's, I, want, I really want to thank everybody out there, family, friends, uh, Hollywood uh, community, and the general public for the incredible support, the amazing support and positivity that they've shown for me. It really is, it's quite astounding. It's very encouraging. Really turn the story around because Absolutely. did you also feel that those initial reports were trying to job shame you? I, I did. You know, when I first saw the pictures, and every, by the way, they photoshopped those pictures, by the way. <laughs> you know they photoshopped Oh, yeah, those of course. You know, the you know I don't look that no, no, bad. No, 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 no. But I was actually preparing for my role in, uh, as Falstaff in a, in a production of Henry IV part one set in a grocery store but um, um, I mean I was I was really devastated yeah. but it lasted it, it was uh, the, the period of devastation was so short because so shortly after that the responses my wife and I started to read these responses from like literally all over the world mm -hmm. uh, of support and and so fortunately the shame part didn't last very long it, it, it hurt but then it's just it's 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 amazing so well you know why jeffrey because people you know just like us you got to make ends meet you got to do whatever you yeah. need to do for your family is that what you were doing exactly i mean i got to a point where you know i've been teaching um acting directing for for 30 plus years but you know got to a point where you know, it, it just it just didn't add up enough, you know, and, and you got to do what you got to do. I, I wanted a job that I could have some flexibility, um, try to stay in the business. Uh, I didn't advertise that I was, you know, you know, at Trader Joe's only, but not that I was ashamed of it, but because I didn't want the entertainment community to kind of decide, well, uh, he's doing that, he's not in, you know, he's not pursuing yeah. acting anymore. You know what, I felt like I had to be careful about that. So. Um, but, um, How long did you work there? Did people I, recognize you when I, you were working there? I worked there for 15 months mm. before this happened, a couple of weeks before this all broke. <laughs> and um, uh, people recognized me every day, and they were very, very cool about it. Sometimes, like, too cool. Like, like, like they'd be like, oh, you work here? I'm like, yeah. It's like, oh, cool. It was no big deal. It's like, really? It's uh -huh. no big deal at all? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, have you been getting any calls now? Uh, acting jobs you know what I mean not really I mean there have been like some hints interest and stuff mm -hmm. and you know what honestly I mean I actually I know this might sound weird and um, I wouldn't feel comfortable getting acting jobs from this event Do, you know what I mean I, know, I wouldn't mind mean? getting auditions right. I don't mind if people call me in to try out for things due to what's right. happened but I actually wouldn't feel comfortable someone giving me a job because this happened, I want to get a job because I'm the right person for that Unmerit. job. Unmerit, yes, exactly. Right. So, but there is there's all kinds of interest now because of this. So mm -hmm. that and that's nice, you know. I mean, I feel like I'm more of a celebrity now than I've ever been. I'm more of a celebrity now than when I actually was a celebrity. <laughs> right. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I also want I do want to say this. I, I, you know, this business of my being this Cosby guy who got shamed for working at Trader Joe's, that's going to pass. You know, that, that's going to, you know, in some measure of time, that's going to pass away. But I hope what doesn't pass is this idea that people are now thinking, this rethinking about what it means to work. You know, the, the honor of the working person and the dignity of work. And I hope that this period that we're in now where we have a heightened sensitivity about that and a reevaluation of, of what it means to work and that uh, a reevaluation of the idea that some jobs are better than others because that's actually not true. There is no job that's better than another job. It might pay better, it might have better benefits, it might look better on a resume and on paper, but actually it's not better. Every job is worthwhile and, and valuable, and if, if we have a, a, you know, a kind of a rethinking about that because of what's happened to me 
mm -hmm. um, uh, that would be great. But no one should feel sorry for me, either from a, a positive or a negative perspective. I've had a great life. I've had a great career. And um, I've, I've had a career that most actors would really, you know, would die for. So no one has to feel sorry for me. I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. Jeffrey Owens, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Jeffrey Owens. That's true. Well said. Well said. Thank you. Keep in touch. Let us know what happened. Absolutely. All right. George?